Mount Everest is the dream destination of climbers from all around the world. They would do anything to check out Everest from their bucket list. It's not an easy job to climb Mount Everest. You need perseverance, determination, core strength and finance. It's an expensive climb. You cannot have the joy of climbing Everest frequently due to financial constraints. The worst part is the danger associated with Everest. The risk the climbers have to take for the climb shows how much they are passionate about it. They can encounter snow bites, heavy wind, coldness, physical injuries, and trauma. Apart from all these, what the climbers are now facing is the climber traffic jam in Everest. How can you experience heavy traffic jams on Mount Everest? What are these climbers up to? More and more climbers are coming forward to climb Everest with even the high expense. They would make the most of their climb as it would be a waste of money to drop the plan midway. They have to invest in a lot of products, from their clothing to their shoes. They need to make sure that they are protected from harsh climate conditions. As there are a lot of climbers flowing in, Mount Everest is filled with people. It's overcrowded, which puts the climbers in an awful circumstance, as they have to wait in long lines to even take a step. The exhaustion they face even before they start the climb is unimaginable. Many people have traveled halfway around the globe to reach their dream destination. It's quite disappointing for them to return without even being able to start the climb. There are two ways to reach the summit. Let's first find out how we can reach the summit. Before that, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a single video from Mountaineers. One way is to climb from the northern side, which is from Tibet, and the other one is to climb from the southern side, which is Nepal. Even though there are two routes, everyone goes to Nepal as it's very easy to get permits compared to Tibet. The Chinese government is strict with issuing permits and one has to spend more time at higher altitudes if they are climbing from the Tibetan side. These two reasons convince the climbers to climb from the southern side of Nepal. As everyone takes the same route, there is a crucial problem with the climber traffic jam. You might be wondering how dangerous it could be. There is a long line of people who want to climb up and there is another long line of people who want to climb down. And there is only a single rope available for all of them. Some climbers need immediate medical attention, but they are unable to reach the base camp due to overcrowding. There are a few climbers who are nauseous and are running out of oxygen, but unfortunately they're waiting in line in the death zone with no hope. The Sherpas are unable to guide this mass number of people. They are in complete astonishment at what's happening around them. Earlier, there used to be only a few climbers who were passionate about their climb to Mount Everest, but now even inexperienced people who just want to put up a picture on their social media are waiting in a long line to climb halfway and return to the base camp. The sight of people losing their lives, not being abandoned or stranded, but in the middle of a mass crowd without being able to move. Everyone is holding on to their lives and they have to put them first to survive Everest. Their template would be running out of oxygen but they cannot give them a helping hand as their life would be in grave danger if they do so. Is there any way to solve the issue of climber traffic jam? Let's press the like button and find out what is the solution for it. The number of people who reach the summit is increasing and strict regulations should be implemented to save the lives of the climbers as well as the Sherpas. The Nepalese government is giving permits with no restrictions. Recently, they have made around $11,000 from the 381 permits. It has become a business with high profit, but at the cost of climbers' lives. It's unacceptable to see such enthusiastic and talented people losing their lives due to overcrowding. Climbers who survived the climber traffic jam have shared their experiences with it's heartbreaking to listen to how helpless they were in that situation. They suggest that they should be scrutiny. Well-equipped and well-experienced climbers should be given preference to climb as many climbers even do not have to pay for the permit as they chose not to take the assistance of a Sherpa. This rule should be changed for the better. One needs to pay for the permit and should have the aid of a Sherpa, mandatory. What do you think about the climber traffic jam? What would you do if you were stuck in such a situation? Let us know in the comments section.